Aloha. For today's word of the day, I'd like to share a short scripture verse for you from the book of Hebrews. We've been studying it in our Sunday Bible study. And in chapter 12, there is a section where the writer is describing all the excellent things of the new covenant that are found for us in Christian worship. And the last of those things that he mentions, kind of the pinnacle of his uh, descriptions, is that we draw near to the to Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant, and to the sprinkled blood that speaks a better word than the blood of Abel. I'd just like to stop for a moment and reflect on that thought, the better word than the blood of Abel. If you don't know the story of Cain and Abel, it was the first murder in human history. Adam and Eve's two sons, Cain and Abel, uh, had a conflict over their sacrifices, Cain being jealous, and then murdering his brother Abel. And afterwards, God speaks to Cain about this uh, sin that he has committed, this horrific uh, act of violence against his brother. And he says, the blood of your brother cries out to you from the ground. What does that blood cry out for? It says, get him, vengeance. This man killed an innocent man. He deserves to die. That's what the blood of Abel spoke from the ground, figuratively speaking. Now, Jesus' blood is mentioned in this verse to Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant, and to the sprinkled blood that speaks a better word than the blood of Abel. What word, what better word does the blood of Jesus speak? When Jesus was bleeding and dying on the cross, he said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Circumstances were similar, an innocent man being put to death. Mockery, insult, derision, mistreatment, all directed against Jesus. But what word did his blood speak from the cross? It spoke, forgive, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. It speaks life, reconciliation from God to his people. And it is my fervent hope that you take hold, take hold of that joy, of that better word of forgiveness and life in Jesus' blood. God bless your day.